Ha, ha, ha. It's the Lyricist Lounge. What's up, people? My name's Mo Dine, the Polymath, and you're welcome to Lyricist Lounge Season 3. You know how it is. I did Season 1, Snapchat did Season 2, and we're right back. Brand new, fresh episodes of the Lyricist Lounge, where the lyricists be lounging, be chilling. And a lot of people say, hmm, hip-hop. Just a bunch of guys saying anything on beats. But no, those are rappers. The lyricist is, is like rapper, MC, then lyricist. And lyricists are crazy people because they think differently. I'll check this story out. Easy Moby, legendary producer Easy Moby, he produced for B.I.G. For those who know, he produced several hip-hop albums. He also did something for Miles Davis. He produced some beats for Big Daddy Kane. And, you know, so in the studio, Big Daddy Kane sitting down listening, vibing to some beats. And he had this beat that Big uh, Notorious B.I.G. ended up using. It's called uh, Warning. Who the hell is this? Paging me your 546 in the morning. That beat was there. Like, in his mind, he was feeling like Big Daddy Kane is going to go crazy when he hears that beat because he had the beat in his mind made for him, but he didn't tell him. He just put the beat in the middle. So he started skipping, playing the beat. So when he got to that beat, he played the beat. And Big Daddy Kane said, nah, skip it. And he almost lost it. He was like, no, nah, listen to it again. He said, no, I don't like it. Skip it. So you can see the mind of a lyricist doesn't work like the mind of an ordinary rapper. It was an ordinary rapper and say, yo, take this beat. He said, huh, it's good? Yeah, okay, he would do it. But a lyricist already knows what he wants to do. Big Daddy Kane didn't say the beat was bad. He just said he didn't have anything to do on that beat. So right now, we cater for the lyricist. It's gonna be freestyles. We have a special guest. I got my man in the studio, producer extraordinaire, young guy, Q, peace sign. That's how it is. So we're going to get, take some videos pretty quick, and I'll be right back with my guests. Yeah. Check. Yeah. Oh, no nonsense. Oh. And it's the host with the most. You're welcome back. There is this lounge. You just watched three lovely videos. First video, Reminisce, one of my favorite rappers. I'm not talking about traditional rapper, you're about rapper, but as in rapper. Reminisce featuring Alamide, another tight lyricist. And my boy India, and the song Government. That was a lovely one. I didn't even think they were gonna shoot a video for that song, but they did, and it panned out well. Second video we played was something from my main man, the big man himself, Ill Bliss, featuring my boy Fino. You know one funny thing about that track? Somebody heard that track and was like, ah, oh, Modan, I love your new track. And I was like, that's not my track because it actually sounds like he's saying mode nine, nah, 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 you know, mode nine. Nah, nah. <laughs> but no, nah, that wasn't my track. The third video you guys just watched is something from the guys that are coming here right now. They're gonna blow the mic to bits. Show them camp. Featuring Poe and BOJ. Feel alright. Dope video. It has that feel alright uh, feel where you can just lounge, relax, and just listen to some good music. Good music is good music. Bad music is bad music. And when you hear good music, you definitely know. So show them cap representing for hip hop. I was opportune to watch them perform live at one of these shows recently. And when I watched these guys, I was like, this is hip hop. You know, because hip hop is a and so when I saw them perform, I felt hip hop. And that group is gonna become one of Niger's greatest rap duels, SDC. And they're in the building right now. We're gonna to talk to them in a few seconds. Countdown. One, two, three. Psh. SDC. They'll be back. Yes, yes, y'all. I got show them camp in the building. SDC. 
you know, back in the days, it was all about just the steady bob. I've said this before, but yeah, I'm saying it again. It was all about the steady bob. And they, they already know about it, the steady bob. But now, <laughs> you got to tell it up. I got SPC in the building. Introduce yourselves. Yes, Tech, Ghost, Shooting Camp representers all day long. Have you guys ever disagreed on the type of beat to use? Like, seriously, like, you like this beat and he likes that beat, and you want to, like, choose a single, and he refuses to voice on that beat, and you... Man, how do you, you guys... You know, that happens all the time. I think, like, me, I'm more... I think I like... He's more of a... I don't want to say hip-hop head, but he's more of a, you know, yeah, rap head. You know, he likes, um, like, soulful beats, hard, knocking beats. I'm, I like I like the club, I like the party. You're the, you're the guy with the jiggling shoulders. I'm the turn up guy, so I'm trying to introduce you to the turn up. Okay, like the beat, the, the, the song that you guys did with Paul and uh, Bioja, yeah, yeah, Budge. Yeah. That was a dope one. Like, who, who's like there? Like, who was loving the beat at first? Um, that one actually is um, Femi, another guy in our group, Femi. Actually, oh. we went to Ghana and the producers gave us like 15, 20 beats. And I didn't have my laptop, so I copied them to his laptop. So he Ooh. was he just kept telling me there's one beat, and they were untitled, so it was just like there's one beat. Whoa! You need to listen. Please. Kept, the What's the name of the dude that made that beat? Jules. 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 Yeah. You know that's some like like you, you guys just gave it the right title, feel all right. It was just, so what made you guys want to just put the budge on the, on the beat? Initially, actually, to be honest, we had somebody else in mind. I won't say who he is, um, but yeah, we had somebody else in mind that we actually gave. The and the guy was like, he was being sleeping on it. Sleeping on right. the you know, you know the way forward, my like, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do. To be fair, to be fair to the guy, he just had his single out at the time, and he was popping seriously at the time, so it was all over the place, you know. So then, um, me and Boss and Boss were meant to have done something in long yeah. time, so we basically just hit him up. I was in London at the time, he came down to the studio. And he did the hook in real talk. He did the hook in like maybe two minutes. Yo, that's why I go exuse when I rap. Oh boy, I'm Hennessy up, forever G'd up. Driver done they dummy, so I tell him speed up. Chasing after paper, so I light the trees up. Floating so high in the sky, it's getting hard to see us. Album done, drop it, tell me kick your feet up But this is just a start, oh boy, so try to keep up Cause your dreams are your reality, so keep your dreams up If not baby, you they chase some more, then keep your brim up huh. Levels don't change, bars don't raise Boys don't vex, getting money all day Cause my team too strong, so we get it always And my boys too strong, not to stack up that paper Son of the soil, I'm more talking about acres Where Africa's finest, I'm humble with statements We full ground if you're talking about Lagos, it's real life it's not entertainment, boy, we getting paper. And the lyricist lounge, SDC bang bang on the lyricist lounge. Woo! Yeah, and we do it all the time. Salute the legend, my man, Mode 9. Hey! Yeah. Oh, my head don't break, oh. <laughs> Damn! SDC in the building, we got Ghost. Yeah. And we got Tech. Oh, that was some. My hand is up, bro. You know when those people send you those. <laughs> so that's what's up, man. Lyricist yeah. Lounge, yeah. Bang Bang SDC. We have everything today, man. Put them under pressure. They put the mic under pressure. M O D N I N E, Polymath, Lyricist Lounge, L L No Cool J, and we out. We'll see you next week. Peace.